Okay, so let's see if you can solve this math word problem. Now, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem, but you don't really need algebra. So if you're pretty good with numbers and you have a calculator, I still think you can figure out the right answer. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It says, Ted has $1.75 in nickels and quarters. He has twice as many nickels as quarters. How many of each coin does he have? All right, so once again, feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through step-by-step step how to solve this math word problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is the problem. Let me read it from the beginning. So Ted has $1.75 in nickels and quarters. He has twice as many nickels as quarters. How many of each does he have? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is he has 10 nickels and five quarters. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being able to solve this basic math word problem. Once again, I'm going to be using algebra, but uh, if you have your calculator handy, even if you don't have your calculator, you can simply use trial and error to figure out the right answer, assuming you know the value of a nickel and quarter. Of course, we are talking about U.S. currency here, and uh, let's get into the solution right now. All right, so here is our problem. Now, we're dealing with a math word problem, so it's always a good idea to use the rule of three, and that is uh, read a problem at least three times before you really start to do anything. Now, I've already read the problem uh, twice, but we'll read it one more time because you want to absorb the information before you start doing anything. And Ted has a total of $1.75 uh, made up of nickels and quarters. Okay, so we know that that's what he has, nickels and quarters. He has twice as many nickels as quarters. So the question is, how many of each coin does he have? Now, real quick here, Let's just talk about currency because some of you out there may uh, be watching this uh, video from another country. We are talking about uh, U.S. currency here. So $1.75. So when it comes to money in the United States, we have bills, right? Like a dollar bill that's worth $1 or 100 cents. Okay, so this is a little uh, uh, symbol for cents, so it's 100 cents. Now, if we have anything less than a dollar, we need to use coins. So the biggest coin is 25 cents or a quarter. Okay, so that would be a quarter or the value of a quarter. It's one fourth of a dollar bill. But uh, we just uh, don't only have quarters. We have nickels and we have dimes and we have pennies. So nickels are five cents and dimes are 10 cents and pennies is one cent. All right, so that's just a quick review of uh, coins and bills. And uh, for those of you out there that aren't familiar, in the United States, U.S. currency, you have like $1 bills, you have $5 bills, $20 bills, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, get going on the solution here. So what we want to do is model this information. So we want to think about this in its most simplest terms. Now, again, I'm going to be using algebra. Uh, you don't have to use algebra. That's why I said don't give up on this problem. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to use algebra. All right, so we have nickels and we have quarters. So let's just go ahead and use uh, N to represent the number of nickels and Q to represent the number of quarters. But we do know that Ted has a total of $1.75 made up of nickels and quarters. So let's go ahead and just start thinking about some relationships here. So if we take all his nickels and add it to all the quarters, the combined value is $1.75. So let's use some algebra. Now algebra 
is simply a tool in mathematics. A lot of people get, uh, you know, uh, shocked. Oh, algebra, I don't want to use uh, algebra, Mr. Two Math Man. I have a lot of bad, bad nightmares about algebra when I uh, studied it way back in 1981. Well, i got to relax here because this isn't too difficult of an algebra problem. I'm going to walk uh, through the steps here nice and slow. But uh, we need a variable. Okay, so in algebra, we use variables like x, y, z. These things just simply represent uh, a number, a value. So what's the unknown value here? Well, we're trying to determine how many quarters and nickels Ted has. So let's let X equal either the number of quarters or the number of nickels. Now you can see here, I'm going to let X equal the number of quarters because it's really easy if we say, well, we'll let X equal the number of quarters. If uh, he has twice as many nickels as quarters, well, that means he has 2x nickels. Okay, so he has 2x. Uh, that's the number of nickels, not the value, not the monetary value. It's just the number of nickels he has, and x is the number of quarters he has. So if we can solve for x, then we can find 2x, i.e. we can solve the problem. All right, so nickels plus quarters is equal to $1.75, and we're going to let x equal... Uh, the number of quarters. Now, you might be thinking, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I bet I know what you're going to do next. You're going to say uh, x plus 2x is equal to $1.75. Now, does that make sense? Well, let's just kind of review this real quick because a lot of people would set up this equation in this manner. They're like, all right, well, 2x is the number of nickels, x is the number of quarters, and this is equal to $1.75. Well, this is wrong, okay? because this is the number of nickels, okay? This is the number of nickels, this is the number of quarters. Remember, we just saw the answer. It's not equal to $1.75. The monetary value of the number of nickels, how much uh, all his nickels is worth and how much all his quarters is worth combined is worth $1.75. So we're gonna have to make some adjustments here. So let's talk about how we wanna express the value of quarters and nickels in coins. All right, so just a quick review, right? We have $1.75. If we're talking about the value of one quarter, okay, this is going to be worth 0.25 cents, okay, or 0.25 of a dollar. Okay, now 0.25 is the same thing. This decimal is the same thing as one-fourth or one-fourth of one dollar, okay, which is worth 100 pennies, and 25 cents is worth 25 pennies, okay? But uh, I don't want to overcomplicate this problem, but anytime you are dealing with a uh, money math word problem, the value of your quarters in nickels, dimes, pennies, you're going to uh, use decimals, okay? So one quarter is worth 0.25 cents, okay? And a nickel is worth 0.05 cents, all right? Again, uh, we're thinking in terms of, uh, you know, a quarter of $1, and uh, here, this would be what? Well, this would be the same uh, kind of fraction. Five, uh, this is five one hundredths, right? So this is the tenths place. And uh, we have five over 100. Of course, we could reduce this down. Uh, two, five goes in 100. One over 20, or one twentieth of a dollar. All right, so uh, again, uh, when you have coins, think in terms of decimals. Now, if I have two quarters, okay, how much is that worth? Well, that's going to be uh, 0.25 times 2, all right, or 0 0.50, now, or 50 cents. But if I have four quarters, that'll be what? 0.25 times 4. So what's that equal to? Well, that's going to be worth 1.0 or $1, okay? So again, these are the things that we need to be thinking about. But now let's go ahead and go back to our equation. So nickels plus quarters is equal to $1.75. All right, so this is the number of nickel, I'm sorry, number of quarters, and this is the number of nickels, but we want to get the monetary amount. So how much value, monetary value, is the nickels worth? Well, it's going to be 2x, that's the number of nickels that we have, but we're going to multiply it by the value of one nickel. So that's 0 0.05 cents. So 2x times 0 0.05, this is how much all those nickels are worth, and all those quarters are worth what? Well, it's the number of quarters we have, which is x times 25 cents or 0.25. So this is how much money all those quarters are worth. So all these nickels or the total amount of nickels, all the value of that plus the value of all the quarters is worth $1.75.
All right, so now we are ready to solve this lovely equation. We have 2x times 0 0.05 plus x times 0.25 is equal to 1.75. And this is, of course, going to require some basic algebra skills. But uh, let's go to take the next step, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your help uh, to continue to grow on YouTube. I've um, been on YouTube for well over a decade. I love teaching on YouTube, and I have fun with it. Basically, I'm trying to make math easy to understand, and I certainly don't like to teach math you know, in a formal kind of textbooky, official kind of sounding way. So I uh, also like to take my time when explaining problems because, you know, I could do this problem in like 30 seconds, all right? That's not going to do you any good because, you know, you're going to not uh, understand a certain aspect of it. So if you understand how to do one problem really, really well, well, that's going to make learning, you know, how to or uh, basically solving other type of problems much, much easier. But I need your help to continue to, uh, you know, do the work on this channel which I love to do. So the best way to support my channel is to hit that subscribe button and to hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you look in the links uh, in the description of this video, you're going to see two things. You're going to see links to my full main comprehensive math courses. Uh, so my most popular courses are going to be down there. Those would include like pre-algebra, math skills, rebuilder, algebra two, geometry, pre-calculus, et cetera. So this is my best full instruction. But uh, also uh, in the description, you'll see uh, something that I have that's pretty new. It's under uh, TC Math Shop. This is my new Shopify store. I'm going to start adding some digital products there, but uh, you can uh, pick up some nice math study notes. Okay, so I'll break them up in different levels, pre-algebra, algebra, geometry, algebra 2, trigonometry, etc. So these are two uh, other resources that you can check out. All right, so let's get back to this problem. And again, feel free to use a calculator. So 2x times 0 0.05 plus x times 0.25 is equal to uh, 1.75. So now we're just thinking about the work here. So it's going to be 0 .0, 0 0.05 times 2. That's going to be 0.1x. OK, so 0.1x. We're solving a linear equation here with decimals. And 0.25 times x is going to be 0.25x. Now we need to combine like terms. OK, so 0.1 plus 0.25 is 0.35x. All right, so these are the coefficients of these terms. So we got 0.35x is equal to 1.75. And now to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0.35. So 1.75 divided by 0.35 is 5. All right, so that's what x is equal to. But remember, x is what? Well, we established that x is the number of quarters. So he has... 10 has five quarters, and he has two X nickels, so he has twice as many uh, nickels as quarters, so that's going to be two times five, which, of course, is 10 nickels. All right, so again, you didn't have to use algebra to solve this uh, lovely math word problem, but this is an illustration of how uh, great al uh, algebra is, okay? I know a lot of you may have bad memories of algebra. Maybe you learned it many, many years ago. But uh, here is uh, kind of my take on a lot of stuff. Whatever you learned, you know, many, many years ago, including myself, you know, I was learning algebra way back in the early 80s, maybe 1981 or whatever the case is. I really didn't care anything about algebra. I was like, algebra, I don't want to learn this stuff. I was more interested in talking to my friends, and I wasn't the best of students for sure. But you can't really judge yourself in terms of like, yeah, I didn't do good in high school or I didn't do good in school. Well, that was a long time ago, and you probably were distracted. Now, if you're motivated to learn math now, you can definitely learn math math and master algebra as well. But you, it, there's kind of a process to it. You're just not going to jump in and start learning this material. So I would strongly encourage you to kind of start at, uh, you know, from the basics and build up from there. All right, but uh, hopefully this little video was entertaining and helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.